Welcome to IAS Tech. My name is IAS Zafar. In this video, you will learn how to use API in your Angular project, and you will learn how to call multiple endpoints with the help of Angular. So before we begin, please make sure that you already have subscribed to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. So let's begin. This is going to be a very simple tutorial where you will use an existing API. So this is a, a simple website and this is the API where you can get multiple APIs for demonstration or for testing purpose. So these APIs are already built up. You can just use them and test them. So before we proceed, we need to import some uh, required dependencies in the app.module. So we need the HTTP module to import. So for that type import from Angular common and HTTP. And now import HTTP client module and similarly add that module in the imports array. Okay, next you need to go to the component where you want to use the HTTP client or where you want to call the API endpoints. Go there, go to that component and create a constructor. And you need to inject the HTTP service with the help of the constructor. And for that, you need to type private HTTP. HTTP client. So we just injected HTTP client service into the app component. Next, I'm going to create a function load posts. And I will call that function load posts. So as soon as this component is loaded, it will in, uh, instantly call this function load post. So that will then call the API endpoint. So first endpoint I would like to use is posts. So, so as we have import, uh, injected the HTTP client, now we can use it, type this dot HTTP dot get. So I will show you how to use a get method. For that, you need to type the file URL like this, and uh, then you need to add dot subscribe. And in a subscribe, we will uh, see the response. So let's for now alert and see what we have in this response. Okay, you can see that. Uh, we have an array of the post that we can display anywhere. So by the way, instead of calling this function by the constructor, constructor, I will call it by clicking on the button. So I'm going to disable the default behavior of the anchor link so that I could add the click event of the angular. All right, on clicking, clicking on this link, it should call the load post function. So let's see if that works. I still need to save this file. Now, if I click on this button, then it should call the 
API. You can see after clicking on that button, it is loading the post. So now if you want to display uh, the, those posts in your UI, you can just create a variable post. And now we will iterate over that array on this div element. So we have a post array and the post variable. And in this, I will add the h1. And in the h1 tag, I will add the title of the, of the post. So we have the title, we also have the body. So I will also take the body and I will display after the title. So I will add a paragraph tag and I will display the post body. And here, instead of alerting that response, I'm just going to replace the post variable with the new. I am going to replace the value of the post variable with the new value. You can uh, set any name of this variable. I'm going to name it post. Okay. Just type any. Okay, now it's fine. <clears throat> so you, it was asking that you need to provide the type. If you have exact type, you want to provide exact type in the TypeScript, you can provide. Or if you don't want to provide any type, you can just type uh, any. So now let's try. Can you see it? It has loaded all of the posts. Uh, let me improve it a little bit further. I'm going to add the line tag, HR tag. So after every article, it should add the HR tag. Okay, now it's looking better. So you can see that I just have loaded the a lot of posts. So this is how we call an API endpoint with the help of the HTTP client module. And uh, you just called the host with the help of the get method you can also use other methods as well for example if you want to if the, you have an endpoint that runs over the post method then you can just change it from get to the post okay and So with the post method, it accepts, expect another argument to pass the data or uh, variables to that endpoint as at this time for this endpoint, we don't want to send any data. So that is why I just uh, kept it empty. But if you have, a, have uh, some parameters that you want to send to your API server, you can just type them here like, Like that, you can pass your data. So let's try this one. So this time we are calling the API with the help of the post method instead of the get method. So let's see if that works. So so with the post. With the get, we were getting the list of the posts. Okay. And with the post method, you can create a post. So, for example, I will create another function, create post. Okay. And here I have added 
the same code but with the post method and here i will have to pass some parameters because i am calling a post method and i want to create a post and post need need some arguments so here we can see what are the uh, required arguments for to create a post So with the method post, we need to pass title, body, and user ID. So let's see. First of all, I will not send any argument and we will see what response we get. We will also check if there is any error. Okay, and here I will alert any response that is coming back. Now oh, let's try. Uh, by the way, I need to add the button, add an extra button. That will be for creating a new post. And on click, it will call the create post function. So let's try. I want to add some margin on the right side. okay so we have the create post button and now i'm going to click on that let's see so you can see there is a response that is id 101 so that's that's mean it has created a post so in a real real world project if you create if you want to create a post or something a uh, data you must have to pass some arguments you cannot uh, uh create a post without arguments so like you need to pass a title so if you uh, if you miss any uh, required value then uh, logically your api server should return with an error that please enter the required values so as this time we're using just a fake server uh, a fake api server so it's okay if it is not returning any uh, error but that's how if you build your API server. So let's pass some uh, values title, uh, hello world, and check what was the name of the other bracket. Yeah, the other field was body. This is body. Okay, now let's see if that creates the post, post or not. So you can see that it just created a post with the ID 101 and with the title hello world and with the body, this is body. This response is coming from the success area of the subscription. So if it fails, then it will throw an error here and we'll catch with the help of this callback function and we will see that alert. So this is how you call the post method. And similarly, if you want to uh, use a delete post, uh, delete method, you just need to use uh, the delete function here and here I will see. So here you just need to pass the ID of the post and remove all of the arguments. We don't need them for this purpose. So this time the name of the function would, would be delete post and call that function on click. So with the clicking on that button, you will see that it has returned a response without any error. That's mean it has deleted the post successfully. So that's how you use uh, any REST API with your Angular project. You saw that it is really easy and very simple. You just need an API server ready for you to be used. And if you already have a have a, an API server, then you can easily use it with the Angular project. So I hope you liked this video. If you 
did not subscribe to my YouTube channel yet, then please make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my YouTube channel because I keep recording many videos like this and the better videos. Uh, so I will keep recording more if you are more interested. You can also put, uh, add your suggestions or requests for the new videos that you want me to record. So put them in the comments. I will uh, record them for you as well. So thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you next time. Take care.